హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు మన్సూర్ లా ట్యూటోరియల్స్ మరి ఎలా ఉంటారు అందరు బాగుంటారు సో హోప్ అలా డూయింగ్ గుడ్ టుడే విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ కాన్సెప్ట్ అండ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ లా టు ఎవ్రీ లా స్టూడెంట్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ జనరల్ పీపుల్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎవిడెన్స్ యాక్ట్ ఎయిటీన్ సెవెంటీ టూ దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో నోన్ యాజ్ ద ఇండియన్స్ ఎవిడెన్స్ యాక్ట్ ఎయిటీన్ సెవెంటీ టూ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద మీనింగ్ అండ్ డెఫినేషన్ అండ్ స్కోప్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇండియన్ ఎవిడెన్స్ యాక్ట్ సో బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ప్లీజ్ subscribe my channel you for watching for the first time and please like if you like the my video please share if you have any suggestions and comments and inquiries please comment in my comment section so let us discuss uh, discuss about the meaning and definition scope of indian evidence act friends so please subscribe my channel if you are watching for the first time now meaning the actually the word evidence is derived from latin word evidentia which means the state of being evident or plain or clear or show clearly so actually the meaning of uh, evidence is to prove or show clearly the word evidence is derived from latin word most of the law words are derived from latin itself uh, most of the derived from the european countries and latin countries so in general word evidence is also known as proof so what is evidence what is the main role and of this evidence in our gen, uh, daily life the main key to every judgment is evidence the judges has to make and will be made the judgments by the basis of the evidence that is proof or in general words evidence means to prove or show clearly in simply evidence means anything that anything which is necessary to prove a particular fact so here you can see anything which is necessary to prove a particular fact to prove a particular fact there is a necessity of something that is it includes oral statements that is in written form uh, sorry in uh, oral form or production of documents that is in written form or uh, instruments weapons used while committing committing crime so whenever a crime occurs that is murder example murder may may be uh, used by weapons such as knife and etc so knife is also considered as a evidence in the case of crime so our friends meaning is clear to all the students and colleagues of mine so let us discuss about the definition before getting into the definition i will discuss some of the interpretation of the clause which are discussed under section 3 of indian evidence act so that you can easily understand the definition of the indian evidence act that is first one is fact the fact and fact in use or mostly repeatedly comes in in the evidence act so let us discuss about the fact fact means anything which is which can be perceived by the sense it may be physical or psychological fact so next one prove so the fact is said to be proved fact means anything which can be perceived by the sense so proved the fact is said to be proved when after considering the matters of before it the court either believes it to exist or considers considers its extent so probably the circumstances of the particular case to act upon the supposition that it exist so proved fact all the repeatedly come in next classes so i am giving interpretation of this classes so next one is disprove the fact is said to be disproved when after considering the matters before it the court either believes that it does not exist so if it is exist the fact exists it is proved if the fact does not exist it is disproved so this is very simple friends so next in telugu proved means nirubhinchabadinidi in disproved means kandincharu so next is not proved there is a correction please make it this is not disproved this is not proved so the fact is said to be not proved when it is neither proved nor disproved a fact is said to be not to be proved whether it neither when neither its extensions nor it nor nor its non extensions is proved it also indicates a state of between the two that one cannot say whether a fact is proved or disproved 
it negatives both proof and disproves so not proved means nirupinchabadaledu so please uh, be aware of this uh, class friends so fact proved disproved not proved so let us discuss about the definition of the evidence act 1872 so definition by title evidence means or includes all the facts except arguments which tend to prove or disprove any matter which is under inquiry in judicial proceedings here you can see the words fact prove and disprove are repeatedly coming so all the facts except arguments which tend to prove or disprove in any matter which is under inquiry of judicial proceedings is called evidence said by tyler famous jurist and evidence means the testimony whether oral documentary or real which may be legally received in order to prove or disprove some fact in dispute by fiction so here uh, you can see friends there is a words prove disprove and fact are repeatedly coming so that i have given interpretation of this word so what is indian evidence act section 3 is giving the meaning of the evidence the term evidence means open all includes all the statements which court permits or to requires to be made before it by witness such statements are called oral evidence all documents including electronic records produced for the inspection of the court such documents called as documentary documentary evidence there are different kinds of evidence we'll discuss in further videos so please uh, have the definition of this two by tyler and pipson so that you can clear uh, clear your exam so hope or uh, clear about this the meaning and the definition of the indian evidence act 1872 now let us discuss about the scope and the importance and nature of the indian evidence act 1872 so indian evidence act has three parts 11 chapters and 167 sections in it the indian evidence act 1872 originally passed by the british parliament in 1872 it contains a set of rules and allied issues government admissibility of evidence in the courts of law the act introduced a standard of set of law applicable to all the indians so this is all applicable to all the indians of the indian country this is passed in the time of british government government admissibility of evidence in courts of law means admissibility means acceptable or aamodimpabadina uh, angikarinchabadina so we can say different words where does this act applies the indian evidence act applies to all the judicial proceedings on before any court including court of appeal but it does not apply to naval discipline act and indian navy act 1934 or other air force act 1950 and other tribunals such as industrial tribunal uh, administrative tribunal uh for them this act is not applicable and it, it does not apply to affidavits presented to any court or any officer the law is mainly based upon the framework by sir james stephen who could be called as founding father of indian evidence act 1872 hope friend this is the scope and nature of the evidence act where does it applies where did it uh, came into force actually indian evidence act 1972 came into force by september 1st 1872 in the period of british only so on which basis this act was passed so let us discuss some few points uh, this is actually uh, passed on the basis of english common law in 1935 governor general council passed a act dealing with the law of evidence which is applicable to all the courts in british india so in the time of 1835 the governor general council passed an act that is regarding about the, so that so you can hear you can see that this evidence act was born in 1835 but came into force in 1872 so sir james stephen saw it in 
so this act evidence act is facing many problem so she he drafted and given as with the three parts and levi chapter 167 section so he is called as founding father of indian evidence act 1872 so this is background of the indian evidence act it was born in 1835 but it came into force in 1872 by which uh, sir james saw it in 1870 so these are very important dates friends so hope you all uh, or create uh, clear about the meaning and definition and scope of the indian evidence act in next video we will discuss about the uh, parts and chapters of the uh, sections of the indian evidence act so that's all for today uh, thank you for watching my video if you like the video please click on like button and if you um, share i feel very so happy if you have any queries and suggestions all are acceptable at my comment section please comment so don't forget to click on bell icon if you are watching for the first time so thanks for watching my video have a nice day